Hey, well, welcome back to Balatro. I did manage to play a little bit of Balatro um, while I was sick, which is a problem. Because now, like, every single deck that I like is at, like, a pretty high stake. And every single deck that, like, I don't like is at, well, I, I do like the Plasma deck, which is probably what we're going to play. But, like, every single deck that I don't like is at, like, a relatively low stake. But I don't want to play the freaking Nebula deck, bro. I don't want to play the freaking Zodiac deck. I don't want a leader of Cola. I want a, a large Farva. Let's try a Plasma deck here. Secret to the Plasma deck. Get chips. That's the secret. I'll tell you that right there. What should we do with two of these? Let's destroy two small Andrews. Hmm. And in the meantime, hey, Ghost Pepper, Ghost Pepper, thanks for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Get a little bit of flush potential. Not necessary, but we'll take it. Give me some full houses. What a game, Balatro. You see it sold a million copies. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that makes it the uh, the best-selling game of all time, actually. It passed Tetris. Um, it passed The Sims, it's true. Minecraft. Candy Crush Saga. Listen, I'm a simple man. Give me something that can that can move the needles a little bit. Angry Birds, it did indeed, I'm happy to report it did pass Angry Birds. The Bible, King James Edition. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty, not Fifty Shades Darker though, that one, that one really moves some units. Okay, it's, it's detritus. No spoilers, by the way. I'm still... I, I have, I think, 117 hours left on uh, left ear Bible in Chinese, right ear uh, Mozart 2x speed. I just got to level with you two. I don't know what the fuck either of them are saying, but I, I kind of feel like I'm achieving a new level of spiritual vibration. Which is nice. I think. You try to eat any more headphones recently? No, thank you for asking. Uh, I haven't. But I, I do have 910 Jack Queen King though. I haven't tried to eat any more headphones recently. But I have been, I don't know, I think that I might legally be insane in my sleep at least. So I definitely woke up again at like, I don't know, 1 a.m. last night. And the first thought in my brain is like, time to wake up. It's the morning. And like, it doesn't matter that like everybody's asleep. All the lights are off. There's no ambient noise of people like going about their lives outside of my window. So I like, I walked down and I went to the bathroom and I, I took a pee. And then I looked at my phone and I was like, 1.06 a.m. What the hell? So then I... I flushed and I just walked back upstairs to my bed at, like I did the walk of shame but like I this is like the second time at a minimum this week that I've literally gone crazy while being asleep I think that is probably like not a good sign in the whole scheme of things I would rather be sane you flushed at 1 a.m.? You show me the incentives, I'll show you the behavior, brother. Right, the Guiga? I used to not flush. Uh, at night, because I didn't want to wake people up. Then, sometimes I would forget to, like, flush in the morning, and my wife would be like, I went to go to the bathroom, and there was your piss in the toilet, and it was gross. So now I said, okay, guess what? I'm flushing that shit 
no matter, I don't care if it's three seconds after you fell asleep, I don't care if it's 10 minutes before your alarm is supposed to go off, I'm, I'm flushing it all the way. Because the only other option is don't piss and that's not happening. What, what a hand. What a hand. There are four nines! That was actually not even that good. <laughs> hmm. I'll play some Dookie because flushes are the only thing that matters. I always flush. The flush shouldn't be that loud unless your toilet is fucked up. What, no disrespect to you. Why do so many people online talk like that now? You didn't build your fucking toilet, Leonardo da Vinci, and you're gonna be like, well, un unlike you, my toilet is built properly. And I'm like, you don't fucking get to steal the valor for that shit, bro. You didn't do anything. Why are you talking like that? Doesn't make any damn sense. Why can't you just say, like, you know, your partner's a deep sleeper or something like that? Or you could just say nothing. Not everything is an opportunity to, like, divide us, you know? Certified shitting expert. <laughs> you could set a silent alarm to go off just before her alarm so you remember to flush. You want it too bad, man. I'm sorry to tell you. You can't hold yourself to that level of standards for your entire life. It's gonna fall apart. It's gonna fall apart in spectacular fashion. It's gonna explode on the freeway. You're doing way too much. Hmm, 50 extra chips. 50 chips. 50 chips is nice. One hand is okay. Smeared Joker. Smeared Joker, pretty nice. Hmm. How about a Jupiter? I love it. What's the point of balancing? Isn't it the same result regardless? What am I missing? Okay, here's a, here's a thought experiment. What's 100 times 8? Okay, you got it? Now, what's, what's bigger? 100 times 8 or 54 times 54? We're calculating. Sorry, I know a lot of you are asking chat GPT, so it might take 45 minutes for a response to come back. You got it. You got it. I'm not even mad at you because I made the same mistake. I was in mouth. I typed almost exactly the same thing in mouth chat. I said, am I missing something or wouldn't the, the result just be the same? And then I said, wait a minute, I'm stupid. So we don't shame people for asking questions here. It's just a, merely a thought experiment to illustrate it so that we never forget it again. Get on to Diamonds are hearts, brother. You know, when you put it that way, you got you you raise a good point. You raise a good point. <laughs> Fair enough. I have to, one thing I'm not sure what to do with, with this deck. Like, here's the thing, it doesn't really matter if they all get converted to hearts, or diamonds for that matter, because it's only 20 mult, which is actually 10 chips and 10 mult, which is like, it's not that big of a deal, I'd rather get more chips. Like, it probably equals out if we just get like one more level of flush or something like that. So it hitting hearts doesn't really matter, but do we need the extra gas to get the flushes? I don't think we do. I think instead you go aura and you actually hope that it hits like foil. As crazy as that sounds. Hey, Zebra 68 thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. For polychrome ass. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? 1.5x mult, I don't even care.
Well, um, let me see. I have made so many other cards hearts already. I don't, I don't want to use Sigil. As boring as it is, guess what, buddy? Enjoy your blue seal. Enjoy your blue seal. Play only one hand? I thought I already did this. With God as my witness. Diamonds count as it. Okay, here's an important question. Hearts and diamonds count as the same suit. Is that hearts for the purposes of Lusty Joker? Yes. Okay. Very good to know. Thank you for the feedback. As we can only play one hand, it would be nice to fish for a flush house. I do think a flush gets us there. We'll play the jack. We'll play that. We'll play that. It's five cards. Drop the ten. You gotta play the ace. So we'll go jack, king, king, queen, ace. Should be good. Hmm, that was a tough one. We go again. No repeat hand types. Now that's a little bit scary. <laughs> Unless we can get 36,000 points by ourselves. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's flush. Is this going to be worth 18,000? No, it's not. So we should dump low cards and non pairs. Fish for this jack, fish for our polychrome ace. That's the, that's the secret, man. That's the, and the secret is you. We get there. Now imagine if you give me a Jupiter, bro. I mean, why don't you 10 jack, queen, king, ace? It's a royal frickin' flush with a, a polychrome ace of hearts at the back. Twenty-six thousand points. I need one more Joker. Or I need or like I need two Jupiters. Or a Joker that gives us chips, and then we clear this boss blind easily. Like we already have three, four, five, six. We already have two, three, four, five, six, and we can even do it basically like oh natural, almost. Now we have Ace, two, three, four, five, with another, dude, just give me a Jupiter, man. It would make the whole thing so much easier. I'm not gonna play 10 Jack, Queen, King, Ace. It's just not something you're gonna see out of me. Unless they're all in the same suit. But you will see me play this. The problem is with no repeat hand types, we basically need which we've been lucky enough to get, but we need a straight flush and a flush to hit on the next fight, which is not guaranteed. Okay, so what do you do? 12 mult is something. It will actually, it'll be like 15 when we buy it. But I think if we get it like a Jupiter here, that would be a start. And then maybe even a Neptune. It's a bit of a stretch. I think we kind of got to go all in. Hierophant would go crazy. I don't love it. How about a Hierophant? De Death card could be good. Hey, Anel, I'm going bald. Any advice? You don't, you don't want my advice right now because I'm going through a baldness crisis. I've been talking about uh, growing out the horseshoe. Not Costanza's style, but you ever see the picture of um, the one guy from the Daniels holding his Oscar and he's going like, 
and he's got the low cropped horseshoe that feeds into the beard. It's kind of like a 1970s like Washington dad look. And there's something about it that I'm like, there's something about it, man. Something stately. Midlife crisis? No, midlife crisis is the guys who drive like lime green Hummer H2s and look like Vince Neil. Driving around playing Van Halen and you're like, it's 10.36 a.m. on a on a Tuesday, bro. What are you... I'm on a freight train coming! I love when someone looks like a whole different guy every year. So true! When you watch a dude's Earthbound Let's Plays and two years later, you're like, what the fuck? When did you get an earring? Oh, you think you're real slick now, huh? You, you, you changed. You changed ever since dude's name plays Earthbound episode 81, Making Progress. One of 17 videos released on your YouTube channel that day. You changed, man. We don't like you anymore. You used to be my favorite person in the world. Then you changed a little bit. Now I fucking hate you. Okay, we have a flush house as is. You need some water. We don't have any fucking water. Send it. Give, give me my polychrome ace, please. I don't want... The thing is, I don't want to fucking do it. I don't want to play a... We don't even know what a flush house is worth for us right now. You got to play the cards you dealt, brother. Flush house. It's actually totally fine. Hey, Anel, if you want to win, please change your stake. This one is too hard for you. What the fuck? Who do you think unlocked it? What do you think on that one? This is where we need, like, alternate punishments on uh, Twitch. Because I don't really think you deserve to be banned for life just for saying something ignorant that hurt my feelings. But, like, you should definitely have your characters restricted for... Two hours. You should get like four characters sent back to you every 10 minutes. So you could write like a sentence an hour. Instead, you got to deal with a 600 second timeout. Who do you think unlocked the stake? It was me, bro. See, the, the problem, I think, as a society is that we vilified cruel and unusual punishment. Cruel punishment, sure, that should probably be vilified. But unusual punishment, what's wrong with that, man? Some unusual punishments might be very effective. They could at least be fun. I will probably buy this. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll, I'll play four of a kind aces with a polychrome ace at the back. That's not even a flush, bro. What's a flush worth? Eight? Seven? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess a, a flush is better. No, I didn't say we should go back to boiling people, okay? You're... You're... Putting words in my mouth. We may actually lose right here. Play some dookie. No, don't play. Why would you play dookie if you don't have to play dookie? 
I don't think they respond to Tuki Tuki. There was no reason to play Dookie. Evolution reference. Did you know the character, like the alien puppets in Evolution were made by Phil Tippett, the Mad God guy? You know what the fuck I'm talking about? How the fuck do I know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? The guy, Phil, Phil Tippett, dinosaur supervisor, you had one job, Phil. Flush house gets leveled. <clears throat> give me give me twelve dollars instead of eleven dollars. Um We need we need chip based jokers, but it can't be you. Can't be you. This card's two random cards per hand played. It can't be you. Don't discard my eight, bro. Maybe we're completely fine, but it would really hit the spot to get like Stuntman or something like that. Or anything that positively impacts our ability to succeed on this run. Whatever, I got $23. It's the same shit. This is a scam, I've been scammed. Mars me. Me after selling my PS2 to GameStop. I hear you. Did I ever tell you about the time I got in an argument with the GameStop employee? It was still EB Games at this time. It wasn't an argument, it was like a nerd off. I remember I bought Midnight Club 2, the Rockstar Games racing game for PlayStation 2 era consoles. And he was like, whoa, that's a good game. And I said, yeah. I can't remember exactly what studio makes it now, but at the time I was plugged into the industry. I was like, yeah. I hope Rockstar San Diego gets to make another one. And then he's like, oh, actually, they've been put on another game now. And I was like, oh, really? You know, is it uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas per chance? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I think it's San Andreas. Did you know that that one's going to be set in California? And now, the way I phrase it sounds like a conversation, but because it was EB Games, it was actually two nerds having like a ball measuring contest. But the funny thing is that that dude was like 41 and I was 13 years old. <laughs> it happened once again. I remember it like must have been literally 10, 12 years later. I bought my parents Dance Central 3 and the Connect for Christmas one year. Worst son of all time. People are calling him the worst son of all time. Um, when I bought it, I remember like... The, at the cashier next to me, the dude like came up with a copy of an RPG. I can't remember what it was, but it was like around 2012. And he was like, hey, do you like this game? And the guy who was the cashier was like, yeah, yeah, that game is really good. And then the guy said, oh, I trust you. You look like a guy who knows good video games, which is basically like an insult essentially, that was um, unprompted for no reason. Like, there, it, it didn't have to be said. And then the cashier was like, yeah, yeah, I really like that one. In fact, I play it with my girlfriend all the time. And I was just like, I gotta get out of here, man. I can't. They're still in here doing the same old shit 10 years later. <laughs> like, it's nothing. Ain't nothing ever change around here, bro. It's the damn EB games. What's the point?
Anyway. We're not freaking dead yet. But it's not looking great. Mm -mm. Give me some freebies. Need a better Joker. We need a better class of criminal. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. We almost, at some point, just to stay alive, we might have to start pivoting the flush houses because all of our celestial packs have given us like almost exclusively flush houses, but I can't fucking play flush houses, bro. I haven't gotten enough deck fixing in order to make it happen. So we're kind of like waiting for a Superman and we should try to like hold on as best we can or whatever. So I had a little mucus. <clears throat> How, this is a genuine question. How valuable is X3 Molt, or Molting Molt in general, on the Plasma deck? Chips are obviously important, but doesn't the, the Molting of the Molt happens before the balancing? Which would, it would be better if it happened the other way, because the balancing will usually move chips to molt rather than vice versa. We can't get rid of that. We can't get rid of this. Like, the, this is the lifeblood of the deck. It, it wouldn't be in a non-plasma deck, but it's important right here. I think we have to, like, if you get rid of Smeared, you're kind of cooked right now. You probably don't make enough good hands. So this is the worst joker. And I think we really have no choice but to swing for the fences. That's nothing. <laughs> that's, that's something. And then, like, how about one amazing Joker? That could help us make a, a flush house, at least, which might get us through this blind. It's gonna be tough. It's not gonna be easy. Let's get that, uh, that extra tarot card. You never know. Empress. You becoming a heart gives us the flush house. And we might as well make something else, like a diamond into a heart, just in case we get rid of smeared joker at some point which is probably a death sentence in and of itself it probably gets us there but i don't think we're long for this world ah <laughs> that fucking sucked bro we're cooked oh no, no no you gotta wait till the last hand of the round yeah yeah, yeah. okay save the glass card at least Fuck it. Blue Seal's never done anything for anyone ever. We're actually gonna make it just fine. I would probably discard to get a non fucking cooked flush. That's just me though. Help me. It must be done. Sorry, but it must be done. Hierophant. Extremely important card. Emperor. 
possibly extremely important card. Reroll the boss blind. No, no, I can tank this boss blind. Chips can only take you so far. Is anyone on earth less happy than people who have just gotten exactly what they wanted? It's the greatest game of all time for you point dexters. Can you at least do the rest of the world a favor and show some contentment? Can you be, can you bask in it for a second? Shit'll drive you crazy, man. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Don't do. I, this is not my first time encountering a liar on planet Earth. You know what? We, we can play bad flushes, or relatively bad flushes. Although it makes ice cream deprecate faster, which is unfortunate. Well, I think we'd rather discard then, because. We want to use this death card. I'm a big believer, honestly, of using a death card to create a second purple seal. And then, because the extra deck fixing you can get from consistent tarot cards, like, it, it uh, itself is accretive. Even if it doesn't pay for itself immediately, if we're lucky enough to live in the long term, it can do, like, it can do numbers for us. So, like, immediately we could drop something like a Justice. Then we get another Emperor card, which gives us a Wheel of Fortune, which has added 50 chips. It sucks that it hit Ice Cream, but still, your ass is now wild. Like, this, this was a big play. And, like, out of nowhere... But I really don't want to play the 8 just in case, man. Just in case. So nice to have you though. The odds of it doing something good are like useless, bro. It's it's so low. Keep the ice cream alive as long as you can. That's the play. We have no money. Keep the glass. That's why they call me Mr. Glass. Play some flushes. No money? Don't worry about it. I recognize your voice. Oh my god, is this Jenna Ortega? <laughs> no. Me, me. No, it's not Jenna Ortega. It's Mewtwo X Elsa 2X Pimpy. Chip posted one of those images on his stream, one of the 2X Bully Dog announcement uh, posters. You know, like the hype teaser. Here's what I get, or I don't get. The dog was like 3X Pimpy. Or it was 2X, 3X Bape, 2X Pimpy. That was like on a movie poster. 3x Bape was over one dog, 2x Pimpy was over another dog. So I get like, that's the dad and the mom, right? And then like at the bottom, there was Baby Genius or whatever the hell the, the progeny was called. Doughboy, thank you. Yes, it is Doughboy. <laughs> but then there was like a third translucent dog in the middle. And I was like, I know who Bape is, I know who Pimpy is, and I know who Doughboy is, but who the fuck is Mufasa <laughs> chilling in the, in the clouds, bro? What's going on? It's, I, I didn't realize it was a 2x Bully, 3x Bape, Doughboy, Thruple? It's the Grandpa? I think the lad might be his own grandpa at this point, to be honest with you. I don't know, man. Get, get, chip me. Freaking chip me.
You're speaking in tongues? You have me confused. I'm not speaking in tongues. I'm reciting words that were written in tongues. Speaking in tongues is, I think you have to come up with a stream of consciousness like off the top of the dome piece. When some dude smacks you on the forehead with a microphone. Oh good, Venus. Too late, too late for, well, is it too late for Wee Joker? That would be a sick video game, by the way. I mean, it's not like we're going out of our way to play twos. There's only three of them in the damn deck. I don't know what we're looking for. I think we're in, I think it's been a slow march to uh, our demise, honestly. I do. You guys see uh, Trish Paytas' St. Patrick's Day video this year? No? Nope. All right, that's fine. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't, <laughs> can't make it drink. Hmm. is my last hand. Straight flush is worth 11. Flush is worth 8. Because Jupiters literally don't exist in the game anymore. Anti-7. Have they ever made a more ass effect in a video game than Blue Seal, which doesn't fucking do anything except give you planet cards that are useless? Red Seal, congratulations, brother. You're dipping your run in E oil. Purple Seal, mmm, how would you like to double your money over and over again? Blue Seal, here's a fucking, oh, how many straight f flushes have you played this run? None? Here's 10 Neptunes in a row. Thanks for nothing. Blue Seal clears red. With all due respect, get out of my chat. You don't know what you're talking about. You've lost your mind. Give me another purple seal. It's our only way out. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get a mega buffoon pack, but I don't know. I think we got to rely on the kindness of purple seals. I don't really care for a fool card, to be quite honest with you. Hmm. Chat really is like the crowd at the gallows. I stand by the fact that I said earlier in my life... The worst part of being publicly executed would definitely be the fact that you're dead. But the second worst part for sure would be having to deal with the psychic damage that comes from like the society that created you cheering at your death. Even though those bitches are just nosy and like weren't fucking privy to what you were accused of in the first place. They're just literally like, they just want to see someone die. You know your ass will be getting toasted by the hecklers, man. And I feel like that the hecklers were built different back then. Because they're all using that fucking medieval peasant voice. They wouldn't just be like, cook him! They would be like, knock his head off his damn neck. Saying shit in their fucking... <laughs> Boy, ring him like a weasel, stuff like that. And you're like, really, bro? I'm being accused of like being the devil because like my fucking bread has a slightly thicker crust on it than average or something like that. So they're gonna chop off my fucking head. 
You're out here dropping delightful bone mows. Ripping off a, a bread crust and dipping it into like a mug of gravy or something like that. Knock his knees like a couple of chestnuts. We ain't got all day. So I actually think that we don't have that many face cards, but scary face. Well, let me look at this for a second. You could actually go crazy if I could get enough money to purchase you. That would require selling you and then selling one joker. Hmm, that's tough. It's true, you could sell ice cream. That's a very good point. It's a very good point. I think you might have saved my run right there. I think you might have saved my, my fucking life right there. Huge. Fuck it, bro. No, you need take some points, man. You need it. Why not? Did you ever know that you are my hero? Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, well, nevertheless, I think um, just get ready for your last hand and let her rip. We make these. <laughs> uh, well, we tried. Let's go again. Slash marker. Call that Balatro one. <laughs> 